an MSR's refrigerator, ale, oven X. So what you'll need to inject Avenex is one Avenex pack, alcohol swabs or rubbing alcohol in the bottle, and one MS patient. Okay, so you open your pack. Now inside, everything is sterile or sterile as we say in the UK. What I suggest you do first is to take your needle, which is completely sterile as well, and just get that ready. So when you open it, leave it like this. Never touch the blue part with your fingers. Very important. So just leave that in your tray without touching that, yeah? This is the pre-filled syringe. Now, what you need to do is remove this top part. You'll click it off, and after you do, do not touch the inner part, because that needs to stay sterile. Now, when you take it off, you're going to hear a very loud click, which sounds like you're breaking the glass, you're not. Next you'll take your needle and attach it, again without touching the blue part. Got it? And you simply twist it. And now you're ready to drop trowel. The way you'll inject the needle is to put it 90 degrees in, so at a straight angle to your skin. Now, if you do subcutaneous injections such as Rebif, you pull your skin up to do those. That's not what you do with Avenex. Avenex is actually the opposite because it's intramuscular. You need to actually spread that skin almost down. So Now I'm injecting in my leg tonight. Now how do you find where you need to inject? It's quite easy. If you take one hand and put it on just like the, the top of your groin almost, take your other hand and put that at the knee. The spot that's in between will be the place where you should inject, so along that area. When you're taking the cap off, make sure that you take it off and keep it away from your other hand because you don't want any bounce back, especially if you have spasms in your hand. Um, so just be careful that you do remove and make a long stroke putting it somewhere else. So here we are, 90 degree angle, here we go. Then you count to 10 as you're pressing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And pull straight back out. Usually it does bleed a very tiny bit and you just swipe the blood away. Of course, as soon as you're done with the needle, you need to put it in your sharp spin. Et voila. So as you can see, it's actually quite easy. Um, there is an auto injector pen which I know nothing about because it is in my packet that came with Avenex and it's at work and I, I actually uh, truthfully haven't even looked at it uh, because I've kind of said before that I'm very lazy and couldn't be bothered putting it into 
you know, an auto injector, but you if you want to do that, that's another option. Especially in the first three months, you can get flu-like symptoms. So before you take the Avonex, I would take some kind of precautionary medicine like um, Advil or paracetamol. So now I'm having my after injection treat, <laughs> of course. And I should tell you that, strangely, it doesn't hurt. I know people are needle phobic. Um, it, the actual injection doesn't hurt at all. I hope this video may have alleviated some of the concerns that people have about injecting into their own muscle. I think for anyone who has MS, you know quite well that life is unpredictable, life is different, uh, you know, so many strange things happen to us, uh, for people who don't have MS too, I suppose, but it seems exponential for us at times. Um, so injecting, to me, is just another one of those strange parts of the MS life. And because this is once a week, it makes it quite easy to get on with your life. Um, it also makes it easy to travel, especially if you're going away for, you know, under a week. You can easily not, not take it with you. If you saw my video last week, I was talking about my relapse and just a short update to that. Uh, it did actually get a little bit worse over the weekend and uh, just today actually I started to feel better. If you live in London then you may have seen me this week flying about on my granddad's cane which I've been using for the past couple of days uh, getting to and fro the tube station. Just remember MS is not something that should stop you from doing anything. Well, I hope you have enjoyed the video. My last little tidbit of advice is if you don't feel well, make sure that you look well because the best thing to fight MS is spite. <laughs> Cheers. That's terrible. <laughs> Dog barking. Hey! <laughs> 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 yeah!